Welcome to Jay is for Justice podcast. If live breaking news and following true crime is your thing, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like what you see in my videos, please consider giving them a thumbs up. Roberta. Bella says hello, and I say hello. Welcome to Jay is for Justice. My name is Jay, and I am your freaking host. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the members. Hey, Olive Juice and Sandman, Angie B and HJ are your moderators. Make sure you give them lots of love. Um, they are here to hold down the fort. Um, I know this isn't the big case that everybody's following, but you guys are going to be a little shook by this interrogation video. I'm going to get into it. It's an hour long. I might speed up parts of it. Um, but for the most part, we're going to listen to this kid. Here's the backstory. Give you the backstory really quick. Um, this happened some time ago, 2010. But I want you to keep in mind what just happened in, in Idaho when you listen to this story. Could this be a plausible theory? Um, these two, George Hughley, I think I'm saying that right. And Yearly Love is the victim. They both played lacrosse at the University of Virginia. They were close to graduation and they had an on again, off again relationship, which her roommates testified in court. They had several fights. Their love unra unraveled and they erupted into several fights. The details of the volatile relationship between the two lacrosse players was spoken about in testimony um, of her roommates. So there was three specific incidents described in court. A lacrosse player from another school intervened when he found um, George aggressively holding Yeardley down in his bedroom. And then her friends said that left her visibly shaken. There was another one where Yeardley went to George's apartment after hearing he was seeing another woman and hit him with her purse. And in the days before her death, George sent her an email that said, quote, I should have killed you. The fights between the two were often fueled by alcohol, stress, and jealousy. And this incident, when he killed her, occurred during a party that he hosted at his own apartment. A lacrosse player from another university heard noise coming from his bedroom and opened the door to find him on top of Yardley. And she was on her back. The player said that George had a chokehold on Yeardley. Lawrence, um, his name was Lawrence, described the scene and said that Yeardley's arm was on her chest. And um, he said she was hysterical. Her friend said she was hysterical when she got back. Their um, relationship was described as abusive, angry, and demeaning. So with that being said, Yeardley ends up dead and George goes through this police interrogation and it's so telling, okay? So I'm going to preface this by saying the way he talks, it's going to be another, we're going to have another sticker here. I can already feel it. I've already got a sound bite prepped for watching this. So Romad, hey, welcome back. Judy, hey. Wait, what? Hey. <laughs> What's up, Roberters? All right, let's get into this because I, I want to see what you guys think. Because I go down these different theory holes, you know, like who's the most obvious suspect in, you know, a breakup. All right, so let's pull this up and let's watch it. So this is, again... Virginia, and this is George Hewley, Hugh, Hewley, Hewley, George Hewley. I think here he is. Okay, let's get this situated. Oh, Bella, Bella is. Down. She's like, hurry up. Pl 
play the video. Play. Now, it's important. I shouldn't have to tell you guys this, but it's important to listen closely to what this kid says. All right. And over here on the right, I have a little slideshow. Um, here's some pictures of them. Look how beautiful she was. He couldn't handle that she broke up with him and wanted to move on. Here we go. This is George Hewley. And this is from 2010. Can you find the water jug now? <clears throat> Just so you know, um, I don't have any arrest warrants for you, okay? okay? However, I am investigating a case, all right, and all right. you are being detained, which means right now you're not free to leave, okay? okay? So I want to talk to you about this to find right. out, you know, so what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Does that right. make that sense, Steve? Yeah. So before I can even, I want to talk to you, I want to make sure you do understand your rights, okay? And that way I can explain to you what's going on and all that good stuff. Do you understand, okay. you understand yes. that? Okay. Today's date is May the 3rd, 2010. The current time is, I can't tell them that one, 7.52, okay? My drama papers still. What's that? Said a lot of my, my drama papers still right now. No. All right, your first name is George. Yes. G-E-O-R-G. And your middle name? Is Wesley. How do you spell that? W-E-S-L-E-Y. And spelling of your last name? H U G U G U E L Y. I've already told you who I am, Lisa Reeves, and this is Ed Pratcher. He is also a detective that starts with this point. Oh, God. And this is, is just something I have to ask you. Can you read and write? Yes. Have any threats or promises been made to you by the police or the Commonwealth Attorney's Office? No. Now this is just basic shit, Before but it gets better, trust, trust me. Hang right. tight. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before questioning and have one present during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be provided for you. And if you're willing to talk to us now, you have the right to stop talking at any time. Got it? Yep. Awesome. Just need your signature there that you understand your rights and are willing to talk to us. And the time now is 7.53. And because Detective Pratcher is here, I'm going to stick his name in here. All right. What I might do, I might take a little few notes here and stuff as I'm fine. talking to you. And, um, first of all, I just want to kind of get a little background on you, if that's okay. Um, you're a UVA student, obviously. Um, how long have you been a student? It's my fourth year. Fourth year? Oh, okay. Long time there, huh? How long have you lived where you live right now? For two years. For two years? Okay. And you play lacrosse? Yeah. How long have you been playing that? Since I was very old. Like, mm -hmm. at school for four years. Okay. All right. Um, do you work anywhere? No. You don't work no, anywhere? mom and dad pay for everything. Where do you get your support from? Family? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's kind of start. I'm going to kind of ask you some questions and like I said, we'll explain things a little bit later. Um, tell them about your day yesterday. Play golf with um, our parents. It was a, a, f a father, son, uh, good event. I mean. Where was that at? At um, Wintergreen. Wintergreen, mm -hmm. okay. I went to dinner with my dad and my two buddies. Where was that, we're joking? I went to C&O. Okay. Um, and then, uh, went home, went to the bar for like a little while. And right, what time did you go out to eat? The golf event had to, ended at five-ish. So we were probably back at, that was probably 7.30 with dinner. Okay. And, uh, then went home, I drank a few beers. When, like, had um, I went to the bar for a little while. I went to Boiler Boiler Heights. Well, okay. Um, then I went over to talk to Yardley, and who's Yardley? Yardley what, is my former girlfriend. Okay. Which this whole thing about, which I understand, but when I went over to 
talk to Yardley. I like. I like was like Yardley. Like, is this Polly Shore's like son? Like, it gets worse. He likes to talk. He wants to talk to her. He's like already f- like totally freaked out because of what she did this past like a few days ago and she, we haven't talked since and I was just going to go talk to her mm-hmm. and she was already like oh uh, like freaking out uh. like, you know you can't go me you can't go me and I was like I'm like just trying to talk to you and like she like started being like like getting like all like you know like really like defensive against it because the week before she came into my apartment and attack like and started striking me and I like, was like all right you gotta leave and like had my roommate's girlfriend finally be like all right you like take her out of there because of this so when I when I went in to talk to her because we had literally she they been away we've been away when to talk to her she was already like on the defensive edge and like I was like listen I'm not here to, like I'm just here to talk to you and she like got all like, like sat up, like, her bed's against the wall, like if it was in this corner. She was like up against the wall and I was like, like we were sitting there talking and like she started being like, like you know, like getting like all like aggressive after this. Awesome. And so I was like, all right, like chill out, like and shook her a little bit. And she started being like, like freaking out. And I was like, listen, I'm not like here to do anything. I'm here to talk to you about everything that's ensued in the past week. And and she was like, and like sort of like being like, no, 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 like, like hitting her head, like, like stop, like, like she's in the corner. Of the ceiling. So she's hitting her own head against the wall because he wants to talk to her, right? This song was in my head the whole time I watched this last night. Like, stop, like, I was like, we were already like, what the hell, like, we were just going to talk, and, like, it was not at all, like, a good conversation, because that's, like, she was already, like, freaking out with just even seeing me, just even seeing me there. Okay, so this lady's like, I'm not buying this shit. She was freaking out just seeing you in your own apartment. Like, okay. Okay. What happened next? And she just kept hitting her head against the against the wall while she was sitting on the bed. And I was like, I grabbed her and I like shook her. I was like, stop. Like, we need to like and looked at her. I was like, we need to like talk about this. And like. I mean, I was on holding her arms and stuff, but like, I I never struck her. I never like hit her, hit her like in the face or anything. I was just like, we need- okay. They never even asked him if he hit her. <laughs> I mean, she was so like defensive. She was so like, oh, I mean, what's the word? Like you know, like like flopping a fish out of the water. Like like so like all this. All because of what happened last week, and I was like, "Listen, like, I'm not here to like fight with you or like do anything. Like, I'm here to talk to you." <laughs> and like, and she's like, no, "No, no, like, get away from me!" All this like, and being and like, and like, that's what happened. Like, I left, and she was in her bed. I think her nose was bleeding a little bit, but she was in her like when I left, she was like still in her bed. Like, and then the, actually, she may have. At one point, she got on the floor, and we and we were talking. Uh, we were like, and she was still like fighting. Actually, no, she went over to her desk, where the desk is, and she was like, "You have to leave. You have to leave. You, you have to leave. You have to leave. You have to leave." Like all this stuff, and I was like, "All right, like fine, like." But like, I want to talk to you after all this, and and like, I was I was like a little bit persistent because of the situation, you know, my former girlfriend who, who something happened last week, you know, and I was like, all right, like, well, so we were like talking over there, and I mean, I somehow we ended up somehow I was resting her on the floor, and I was just like, stop, I just like. 
I want to talk to you. I was you. holding her, but I never, I never struck her or anything. And I think that might have been when her nose started to bleed, actually. It was when I was holding her on the floor, being like, listen, like, I'm, like, you came and attacked me. Like, like, I wanted to talk to her about, you know, everything, because I got on the, like, whatever, like, text messages, to, like, from her and all this stuff. And so that's when I was, like, holding her, but not so like not like forcefully, and then and then you know she, then I guess that's when her nose might have started to bleed. It was when like it, it like it like rolled like that. So he smashed her face down on the floor so hard that her nose bled. He admits that because he just wanted to talk to her. Like her face on the ground. And her nose started bleeding, and then, and then the conversation I could tell was just like it was not going anywhere, and nothing was happening. It's the it, video. You no, know, and I went back home. And then I went back home. Let's um, let's hey, Mike. start from you. You keep talking about something that happened last week. What happened last week? What happened With last her. week? You yes. kind of set up the... Tell us, George. Well, yeah, I was, that's why I was going over there to talk to her. But yeah, what happened What last happened week? last week? Let's start there. Last week? Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of things happened. But basically, um, she... Word it carefully. She came over to my apartment mm -hmm. at on... Let, let me let me stop you there real quick. How long y'all been dating? For two years. Two years. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, two and a half years. Okay. All right. Now, start with that last week. Sorry, Did y'all break week, up last week? We broke up like a month ago, but it had been like talking and like, you know, talking. hanging out and stuff. What did you break up and for? But he, but he was, wait, wait, wait. Because. They've been talking, but he's mad that she wouldn't talk to him. Broke up because she wanted to, but like, was because she wasn't really sure about all this because we're both like graduating you know and she wants to move to new york and i want to move like to san francisco mm -hmm. and so she was like we don't really know okay so you have two students who had two different plans and were nearing graduation one parallel she was like you know sort of uh, unsure about all of this so we broke so she was like sort of like broke it off like slightly over like you know period of time like all right well like we shouldn't hang out anymore da, da, da. but we're still hanging out and everything and then calling the week ago she goes down to she went down to carolina and like i don't know what happened there but she told me what happened which was like which was that wednesday night she sends me text message like Oh, I'm so glad, like, I, I, you know, I, you know, I'm so glad, like, I fucked so-and-so, you know, and so I what? didn't respond to that. I was like, whatever, like, She said she fucked somebody? Is that what you just said? I hooked up, fucked, like, same, okay. same thing. So I didn't even respond to that. Those were, like, text messages. And you know, so I was like, Brian, like, to my roommate, like, look at this, like, this is fucked up and didn't even respond. So went to the bar, like saw her at the bar actually, and she's like all like, you know, like fucked up. So I was talking to. Okay, another parallel. Saw her at the bar the night of the incident. Oh, um, a buddy, and um, we were at and and like she comes over. It was like my buddy, like didn't whatever, didn't even bother. And then I'm at home on my sofa, and she comes in the door like this, two of them um, with the same body, with the same body as mine, the same body that was there earlier, and two, two girls that were visiting, deciding if they wanted to come here to school or not. And so she went over to his apartment. This is what happened the week before. <coughs> Yeardley went to his apartment. Excuse me. <coughs> Freaking COVID. She went to his apartment. He had girls staying there that he says were, were there just to see if they wanted to go to school there. So he was hosting um, 
you know, potential students to the school. She walks out the door, opens the door, and comes over and just starts hitting me in the face. And I like got up, I was like, stop, like, like, you know, like, get off of me, like, leave me alone, like, like, you, you can't, like, do this, you can't just, like, start doing this, like, and then I had to get my roommate's girlfriend, who is friends with my girlfriend, I was like, yo, Liz, like, calling from her from the kitchen, like, get her out of here, like, never, like, touched her, never struck her, I was... Call her phone from the kitchen... And get her out of here. Listen. Is that another parallel? We're visiting, deciding if they wanted to come here to school or not. And I'm I'm referencing the calls to Jack D. The calls to Jack D. Walks in the door, opens the door, and comes over and just starts hitting me in the face. And I like got up. I was like, "Stop!" Like, like you know, like get off of me. Like, leave me alone. Like, like you, you can't like do this. You can't just like start doing this. Like, and then I had to get my roommate's girlfriend, who is friends with my girlfriend. I was like, "Yo, Liz, like calling from her from the kitchen. Like, get her out of here. Like, never like touched her, never struck her. I was just like, listen, like." You have to like stop hitting me, and she wouldn't stop. And she kept coming and kept coming. So that happened. So I was going over there to talk to her. A week later, after last the bar night on Sunday, and like right. So this happened a week ago. So he gets drunk at the bar. He sees her there, and he decides to go over and talk to her, and talk and talk. And that was the reason why I was going over there to talk to her. And I never like hit her, never struck her, never, and nothing happened. All right, but, all right. So you go over there, knock on the door. Okay, this is where. Her front door. Okay, now I want you guys to listen to this. Open your minds to one theory at a time. We have so many theories we could analyze, but we're gonna go with the um, theory that most people have gone with and that is the ex-boyfriend have having done something i know that kaylee's family says he's innocent um and that they stand behind him 200 percent so i do understand that but this is not for the family this is for true crime purposes and theory and speculation purposes only so while we listen to this next part, please listen to what transpired that night and tell me if you can place this same theory of what happened here into a theory with the Idaho 4 case. Last night on Sunday and like, and that was the reason why I was going over there to talk to her. And I never like hit her, never struck her, never, and nothing happened. All right, all right. So you go over there, knock on the door. Her front door was open. Mm -hmm. Her room door was closed. I knock like, like are they like? She heard me, open the door, and and went in. All right, went in where? To her room. All right, straight to her bedroom. Straight to her bedroom. Yeah, I mean. How'd you get through the door? Her door. Mm -hmm. Front door. Her door. Actually, it might have been locked. Mm -hmm. It was. So the front door or the main door to her apartment was open and her bedroom door was locked. Yeah, my, yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. Just, just sure. be honest with you. Yeah, no, yeah, it was actually, it was locked, yeah. Because yeah. I think I put a hole. Yeah. You punched door. a hole through the door? Pretty sure, actually, now. Yeah, yeah. Now you said that, yeah. All right. Pretty what, sure. what, why'd you do that? Because I won't talk to her because mm -hmm. like, she's sent, been sending me like emails. Was she like, telling you to leave emails. or? She well, talk I, to you I or guess, she yeah, when I, once I was in her room, she was like very like, you know, like, or like, no, I'm not, like, I don't want to talk to you, like all this stuff. Like, you know. Da, 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 what was she wearing? 
she was, a, well, she, she, I think she, she was in her bed. She was in her underwear and t-shirt. Okay. Okay. All right, so I you, never, you get in there. So she's in bed in her underwear and t-shirt. He comes over, pissed off and wasted, banging on her door and puts a hole in her door. Okay, I, I, okay, I'm not saying you that. I'm just trying to picture yeah, no, it. Okay. Like, All right, so she's in her bed, t shirt, and underwear, you think? Yeah. Okay. Light on, light off? Light off. I'm pretty sure she was like, this was like around probably, I want to say like 1245 ish. Okay. So she was like, probably, she was like either asleep or like, you know, to it something. And so I went in there to talk to her. And. And she was very, like, you know, very on edge, like, I don't want to talk, like, I don't want to talk, like, uh, you know. Okay. I was like, listen, like. Okay, so he says, she doesn't want to talk. And he was like, you're going to talk. Hello, Rose, and hello, Search and Rescue Canine. I'm so sorry to hear about your house. He played lacrosse. He was a lacrosse player, and so was she. What you pulled last week was outrageous. Like, I just want to talk to you. And Why'd you push the door there? Because I want to talk to her. All right, we'll continue on. That's fine, continue on. So you're, you're talking to her and she doesn't want to talk to you? Not really. I mean, and, I mean we talked, though. We, like, there was parts where we were talking and then, like... Do you know what you're talking about? I mean, about so many different things. Okay. Like what? Like, like what she did last week. Mm -hmm. Like went to like Carolina, how she attacked me. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. the, 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 like like she went to Carolina and hooked up with someone Sunday when we were still trying to figure out things. Came over, attacked me on Tuesday. Okay. You know, and I'm just sitting like, and I was over there like, like to talk like I was like this is like this is outrageous. Like I mean. And because I was trying to make everything better, and and then like, you know, and then I was trying to make everything better, and she wouldn't talk to me. All this happens, and then she comes in and attacks me, and I'm like, and to the point where my my roommate's girlfriend has to like take her out of there. Okay. So Let us go back to you're in her room tonight. Yeah, last night. Last yeah, night. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so. So she's like in the corner, if her bed's like, if her bed would push all the way back, like in the corner, like, you know, like, and she, and I, I'm pretty sure that she, she was very defensive because she knew like how upset I was because I've told her like through emails, like how upset I was like about what she did and about Tuesday night of her like coming in and just starting to strike me. And so I was like, and I sat on the edge of her bed, I was like, listen, like, I want to talk to you like like what you did was bullshit like that was that's not like okay like, so you're pretty upset pretty angry um yeah i, was, I mean i was I, I was more like emotional than i would say angry okay you're hurting and i was just like i like i just and, want to talk to you she's like uh, like not like like you know she's like uh, like you know sort of pushing everything that she did to the back burner and like talking about like like you know like, like trying to like, put everything that she did like wasn't important and and like you know we talked and she like kept getting like and then she kept saying things like oh well like you know like I'm, I mean what did, was she was saying stuff like oh like, I don't trust you like or stuff like that and I was and like and it got it kept going to the point where she like I was like listen like you're like we have to figure like out what's going on and she was like I'm not I'm not talking I'm not talking and then she like pushed me like get out of here like like go and I was like no and like I was like be like we have to talk like so, like get like when you when you're doing that what what are you holding on her. On her, her arms. On her arms, like maybe up here? Like shoulders, yeah. Shoulders? Like, 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 like okay. yeah, like, like, never, like, like never, like, you know, never I mean, punch if I could, like, 
show you. I, no, I'm sorry. I know. I know. But like, up in, like, up her arms. like, come on, like, you know, and she, that's when she would like wiggle and like, like get away and like, you know, like hide in the, get in the corner, like really like aggressive, like defensively almost. If you're just joining, this happened in 2010. These were two um, college lacrosse players and he's describing his last altercation with her. Um, and they haven't told him that she's deceased. He's sticking to the story. I left her. Her nose was bleeding. I thought she was fine. And then we like wrestled on the ground the same way. Her nose started bleeding. And and then I was and then she ended. I think she was back in bed, and I was and I left. I was like, oh, this is the, not going anywhere. How'd she get back in bed? Ah, uh, we were like wrestling, and we stood up, and I I tossed her. I pushed her onto the bed. I was like, go to bed. Like I'll talk to you later. I put. I, yeah, I'm like. So he breaks into her bedroom, and then he pushes her on her bed and says, go to bed. What? And then she ended. I think she was back in bed, and I was, and I left. I was like, oh, "This is the, not going anywhere." How'd she get back in bed? Ah, uh, we were like wrestling, and we stood up, and I, I tossed her. I pushed her onto the bed. I was like, "Go to bed." Like, I'll talk to you later. I put. I, yeah, I'm like, I didn't like throw her, but like mm -hmm. we were like standing up at this point after we were wrestling on the ground. And, she had like a bloody nose. Oh, and that was good. Good about. Okay. And you kind of tossed her on the bed and you left. Yeah. Okay. Did um did you go back and check on her at any point? No, I did not. Okay. Did you uh, uh did you touch her neck area at all? Did you choke her at one point? Um I may have grabbed her a little bit by the neck mm -hmm. when we were like but I never like strangled her. Okay. Um, but I, yeah, I mean, they didn't ask if you strangled her. Let's go back. Did you, uh, uh did you touch her neck area at all? Did you choke her at one point? I guess they did. Um, I may have grabbed her a little bit by the neck mm -hmm. when we were like, but I never like strangled her. Okay. Um, okay. but I, yeah, I mean. During the whole like commotion, you know, like I we may have I might have grabbed her neck, but I never was there, never was like strangling her. Okay, all right, all right. exactly, um, Mike. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on something really quick, and I'll be right back. Watch this. Okay. Uh, do you mind if I use the restroom? Um, actually, hold on one second. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to hold it there, buddy. I mean, she's a. Sorry, my phone was called. I had to take that call. I really apologize. I know you gotta use my phone one. AKA, we had to have a little um, talky talky about where we're at with you right now. Sorry, I kind of everything I wanted to talk to you about. Um, you said you got there about 12:45. Is that right? I think so. You think? I mean, okay. Around that area. Why do you think it's that time? Just because when you know, I went to dinner around. 7 30 i think okay and went home for a little while then went to the bar for a little bit so i i mean that's just my kind of estimate maybe you know, I mean, okay. yeah i'm not did you um did you call her and let her know you were coming or text her or no because she says she lost her phone the night that she came over to my apartment she says it's my apartment but so in other words aka he took her phone is what I get from that. She said she lost it at my apartment. It's not. So she doesn't have a phone. Okay. So I did not call her or text her. What, uh, how long do you think you were at her apartment when you were there? Like, between, like, around, like, eight minutes. I mean, like... Mm -hmm. Not long? I mean, no. Not eight minutes. Eight minutes to kill her. To get her to, to try to get her to talk, to put holes in the door and leave her for dead. Eight minutes.
No, eight, eight to ten minutes. Okay. All right. Was anybody else there? Just the two of you? No, our roommates weren't there, actually. Okay. How convenient. Excuse me. Um, okay. What would have happened if her roommates were there? What would have happened if this dude came out of his girlfriend's room where he just left her for dead? What what would he have done maybe to those roommates? Could this have easily turned into a double, triple, or quadruple murder depending on how many roommates were there? Something to think about. Food for thought. Eight minutes. I mean, like, mm -hmm. not long. I mean, no, not not eight, eight to ten minutes. Okay. All right. Was anybody else there? Just the two of you. No, our roommates weren't there actually. Okay. Excuse me. Um. Okay. Did when when you left her apartment? Did you take anything with you? No. Nothing she was at all. In her bed. All right. All right. Because um, I, I think we're not, her, her laptop is missing, I guess. Did you grab it for any reason? Uh, yeah, I did, actually. You did? Okay. Is it at your apartment? Yeah, okay. somewhere in my apartment. I can okay. give it to her. Why'd you grab her laptop? Because I was so pissed that she wouldn't talk to me. I was like, I don't know. I like took it almost as like collateral, I guess. I don't mm -hmm. know. It's, it's not reasonable logic but right okay. i don't know did you take I mean, anything else besides no, the laptop no. nothing no okay. i mean all right so when um uh, when you left out of there i mean you saw that she was bleeding on her nose did, mm -hmm. did you try to call rescue or anything to make sure she's all right no i did not no. why uh i didn't think it was like in I didn't think that she was like in need of like going to the emergency room. I th she just got. I made a play. Like, Why do you think that? I don't know. I mean, I. I did, did you say when you were? And correct me if I'm yeah. wrong. When you were shaking her, her head was hitting the wall. Well, that was in the beginning. That was in, initially when I walked in. Like she was like up in the corner. Like you guys cannot say without a fact that he would have not have hurt anyone else had they stumbled upon or been sleeping and woke up we have no idea what people are capable of especially when they're raging to the point where they can kill someone i feel like if they're capable of killing one person in that rage they're capable of killing anyone in their immediate vicinity while they're in that you know rage uh state of mind what do you guys think Get like get out of here, like you know, like this. Mm -hmm. like, at, at any time when you were shaking her, did her head bang the the wall? Did did you like I mean, shake her into the wall? I know you already said you didn't punch her and stuff. And, no, and I, I, mean, I wasn't like like throwing her into the wall. Like I mean, we were sitting on her bed, which is against the wall, and I was like, like, and I was like, like you're like, and like I mean, maybe like I wasn't hitting her against the wall but like when she's uh, like sitting there in the corner mm -hmm. of like if it were like, or like like this and i'm like you're already like you know and i i was like 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 what the fuck was that about like or like what if and i sound like him now what if um you know best friend who was always getting in the way was in the way with her mouth that night what if <clears throat> his girlfriend yearly was in her bedroom with her girlfriend. What would have happened to the girlfriend that was in the bedroom with Yeardley, I wonder? Would he have spared her life? It's such bullshit that you, like, do that. Like, you know, I mean, possibly. I was like, you know, it's such a, like, bullshit move. Like, what, would, would, like, you know, like, ever, like, he never, like, what are you, like, doing? Like, like that, like. Okay. She, she has a pretty good knot on her head. That's why I'm asking. How that how how you can explain how that would have happened? I mean, I don't even know when that a knot. Mm -hmm. 
mean, like on, on the side of her head, she's been hit pretty good right there. So I'm just trying to figure out, did you hit her with something? No. Was that no, I never, I never, never touched her, struck her, or anything. Well, you touched her, you had your hands on you know, her. I, yeah, no, I, I said never struck her. Okay. Never, never, never at all, like... Well, I'm, I'm trying I'm to just, figure I'm out why, why she's got what? a black eye and why she's got a big lump right there. I mean... We... Uh... So, so you never hit her. I, I, I don't know. Is that what you're saying? You, you never I, hit her. Yeah, I don't know how. With anything. So she got them. So okay, okay. I mean, All right. I, and then I, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Um. So you you. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go through this one more time. Make sure we're on the same page. So you're you're pretty pissed at her from a week ago, for sending you text messages. Do you have those text messages? Where she said oh, she. Oh man, I don't think uh, so. And you could have fucked somebody. I actually might have those. Yeah. Oh, All right. You man. got your phone with you. Yeah. And let's, let's pull it out and scroll through it. Let's see if we can see those. Oh, see. shit. Shit's getting real. Get the phone. He gets it out. He really thinks that he's got them picking up what he's laying down. This idiot. But, again, people who will kill one person, I cannot sit here and say without a shadow of a doubt that they're not capable of killing others. If they get in the way, if they're going to get caught or they're going to call 911 or whatever. This is. We didn't say. They were, they were like, I guess what you call like. A, no, he doesn't know she's dead yet. One of these. Which is like an ongoing conversation, an ongoing like instant message, and it's gone. Okay. Hey Rex. I'll leave that one. I don't leave that right in front of All right. Um, I mean, so you're you're. I can show you the emails that say she hooked up with someone. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, I'm not okay. lying about that. Do you have a home computer, or laptop? Yeah. Okay. Is that oh, I have the email saying she hooked up with someone. Oh, oh that's your defense all the emails are. I mean, does he get to them on that? Uh, actually, I think they're deleted off here. I can get to them, though. Okay. All right. That's, that's, that's fine right now. Um, so last week, y'all kind of broke up a while back. She's like, oh, that's okay. We're going to do a celebrate dump on your phone anyways. So <laughs> it's fine. Kind of been, you're still been talking. Yeah, and he's sitting there like, he just can't be bothered. You know, she screwed around with someone. He's fully justified. All you, do, all you wanted to do is talk. Last week, she gets pissed, you get pissed because she sends you a text. So last night, you go over there wanting to talk. Let's talk about how you, you entered. entered. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Because to put your, to have put your fist through the door. No, I, it's she actually my leg, I'm pretty sure. Your leg? Because that's why my leg's like this. Yeah, you're right. That was your leg. Yeah. How'd you get all the bruising on your hand then? This is all from the cross. This is all. That's this, pretty fresh right there, looks. This is all from my lacrosse game on Saturday. Oh, okay. I, mean, I wear my arm, but you can see where my arm pads are. Mm -hmm. Right here, my gloves right here. and that's Even right there, I thought you you wore those padded gloves. This is all. Lacrosse. This is all the difference. This is all from lacrosse. It's all from the cross, no, dude. Sorry. This is where my arm pads are and my glove mm -hmm. goes to here. This is all tanner because it's because that's where it gets sun compared okay. to where my legs like the difference in color. Mm -hmm. And okay. and that's I got whacked here, I remember hundred percent got whacked during the game when I was trying to end, like kill the clock. Mm -hmm. When when you had her on your shaker, did she scratch you? Okay. No. no. Kill the clock, dude. No. She's a little girl. She's tiny. Yeah, she did not know. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't try me. to hit you or anything like that. No. Okay. So you you kick in the door. Yeah. Go in. That's the that that that's how I entered. Yeah. Okay. And then I stuck my hand through and unlocked it and went in there. What a nightmare! And he put a hole in the door and stuck his hand through it and unlocked the freaking door. I would have been so scared 
This poor girl woken up out of a sleep to this maniac. Okay. And you guys still think he wouldn't be capable of killing anyone else? He just put his hand through a door. Literally. Else is for you. That's rage. While you're kicking the door. I mean, did you get, just go straight kick or did you knock first? Oh, he kicked it. No, I knocked first. I was like, you're the, let me in. And she was like, and I think she was like, she said something that was, that was, I remember that was like, I just don't remember exactly what it was, but I just remember her saying, I asked saying to do that. something or like whispering some shit or like, I don't know. And I was like, all right, well, I'm like, she knew because I sent her emails. I've sent her like six emails recently that was like, Lord, have mercy. We talk. I'm coming over to talk to you. Okay. And she like, ignored him. She ignored his emails. So I'm coming over to talk to you. You won't answer my emails. So I'm going to make you talk to me. And she didn't actually, actually didn't respond to those. Past two months, but I've told her, and she or she said something like, "Like fuck you, I'm not talking to you." Like, so along those lines. All right. How much did you have to drink tonight? Last night. Um. Fuck a piece of shit. I had probably four, four or five beers on the golf course. Mm-hmm. And I that had, was earlier in the day, though, right? That was earlier in the day. Then I had two glasses of wine at dinner, and then like, a, like three more years afterwards and like three more years of the three about like okay. afterwards like probably after dinner I probably had like five years combined. Okay. Um did you smoke any weed? No. Any other drugs? No, I mean, Nothing. I no. no, I just what get were tanked. You wearing? I was Last wearing night. shorts and a t shirt. That? No. 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 What did shorts and t shirt look like? They are on my floor of my room. Mm-hmm. There are cargo shorts and a t shirt. Okay. What color are the cargo shorts? Blue. And t shirt? I think white, but I'm not positive. Yeah, I mean, a white t shirt. All, right. All right. All right, we've been through what else happened. Where, when did you leave? Right after you went out the front door? Yeah. Where'd you go? Home. Straight home? Yeah. Talk to anybody? No. Call anybody? No. Call, you said she didn't have a phone, right? She doesn't have a phone, no. It's her phone at your house? I leave the name every minute to look for oh, the wait. phone. And her, okay, her. wait for it. Wait for it here. This dude just keeps burying himself. Girlfriend is looking for a phone. We have no, I mean, it's not in our apartment. Okay. So, um, but you pick up her computer on the way out the bedroom, right? Yeah. Anything else did you take? No, nothing. Not. Where are we going to find the computer at? Um. The computer is, I mean, the dumpster, maybe. Oh, the dumpster, so maybe. Sure computer in the dumpster? Yeah, the one right by 14th Street. Okay. All right. Now, here we go. I go back to the Idaho 4, the dumpsters. The dumpsters. The one, no, not, not the one right by 14th Street. It's, it is the one right by the the point. By the point? There's an apartment called the point. the point, yeah. And I, on the way home, I just toss it in there. He's like, he's like, I'm going to go have him get the booking room ready because we're going to be booking this son of a bitch within 20 minutes. I'll tell him what it's about. Okay. That's where the computer is. All right. Did you toss anything else no, in there that we need to no, know about? No, 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 okay. No. So what do you do once you get home? I just went to bed. Anybody else home? No. No. I went to bed. Another parallel. So we so we've been told that Jack D was in bed. No, no, no. I mean, you just went to bed and then we yeah, show up. Yeah, I went to bed and you showed up. This you take a shower or anything like that? No. No. Okay. No, nothing. And uh, did you happen to look at the clock before you lay down? No, I did not. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what time. I mean, I wasn't <laughs> paying the time, you know. Right, right. Okay. Right, like, I just killed someone. I wasn't really, like, paying attention to, like, what, like, time it was. Because, like, I just wanted to, like, talk. Yeah. 
All right, I'm going to get one of these detectives to call you into the bathroom right quick. Or take you to the bathroom right quick. You want to take him to the bathroom right quick? Not yet. No, no, not yet. yet. You. Man, if you can hold up just a little bit longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, what did that guy with? just say? Hold on. All right, I'm going to get one of these detectives to call you into the bathroom right quick. Or take you to the bathroom right quick. You want to take him to the bathroom right quick? Not yet. No, no, not no. yet. You. Man, if you can hold up just a little bit longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you want to continue to talk to him a little bit? You know some stuff? No, we'll talk to him. Right. I'm going to hold on to your time. phone right there. We don't allow anybody to use our phones in here, okay? Okay, here's the infamous time when they leave the perp alone or the suspect alone. Wow, Kim, that is crazy. So, yeah, they do come back, back in and tell him that she's dead. Um, He's just said, oh, God, this thing won't stop, meaning his phone. So I think now, I think whoever said they're retrieving the dumpster. Yes, Mike Sanner, I agree. I think that's that they're making a call. Check the dumpster on da 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 street. Because this is the very next day after she was found dead by her roommate. This is the full interview. We still have 25 minutes to go. Kara Lee. Okay, yeah. All right, good enough. He's got a couple more questions for you, sir. All right. Okay, so now comes the male investigator. Look at George. He's like, oh, fuck. Because the woman's easier for him to talk to. He thinks he can snow this woman. But now he's up against some testosterone. That's why there's two of us. We can't stuff each, each, one, of us, each one of us in this. Um, I, I know we, we touched about what, uh, what happened last night, but... Set it up for me, lead it up to me a little bit here. Why did you guys break up exactly? Why? Why? Yeah. Well, we are not, we are not from the same area. Right. And I'm going, or she wants me to New York, and I'm not exactly sure where, what I'm doing yet, but I'd like to move to San Francisco. And, um, so we've like been like talking about this. She found like a text message in my phone it's from another girl, and that, and then like we broke up because of that. Kind oh, of, that was like, it. Sort of like on, off, like an ongoing. Mm -hmm. type type. On again, off again. Does that sound familiar? And Kaylee's family uh, using the excuse that Kaylee was a quote unquote brat. Think about that. Why would they say that? Because it's funny that you mentioned putting your hands around her neck and holding her back that way. Is there another reason why you two broke up? Any arguments? Any any past physical violence? Um, okay, be, that be, because that, keep in mind before we've talked to you, we've talked to other people too. No, I understand. You know, you know, okay. I mean, I mean that night that. She I mean, do college students, when they're getting ready to start their permanent life, if they have a solid relationship, do they break it off? just because one might be starting a job somewhere or would they try at least to do the long distance thing? Because I feel if you were in love and you really felt like this was a relationship that was going to work for you, 
you would exhaust all efforts before coming to the conclusion, hey, we've got to break up. And I'm talking about Kaylee and Jack D. Because we've been told they broke up because, you know, Kaylee was moving and she was being a brat. They were on again, off again. On again, off again is never a good sign. Do you agree? Show me a relationship. Be honest. A good, solid relationship that has been on again and off again. When you're 20, 21, 22 years old. Not very many. We have no idea what the past is with Jack and Kaylee either. We have no clue. Lacey Peterson's family was behind Scott Peterson at first as well. And I don't think that you're their I don't think their parents were Kaylee's parents weren't going to make her do anything. She was independent. She just bought her own vehicle that she was so proud of. She wasn't taking direction from anyone. So why break it off completely if the only thing that's holding you back is that you're moving to start a new job? I mean, these are these are girls. Maddie and Kaylee were in Hawaii, um, Puerto Rico, Jamaica, all before 21 years old. I don't know. There's another place they went to, Mexico, all before 21 years old. <clears throat> these weren't kids afraid to travel. Kaylee wouldn't be afraid to have a long distance relationship. I don't know, just throwing that out there. Let's continue listening. Found the 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 text messages in my phone. I was like, I don't know, I was that night I was more drunk than I've probably ever been. Right. And now granted, he was drunk, this guy. George was drunk. But what if Jack wasn't drunk? And Ethan was. What if Ethan was wasted and passed out and woke up half groggy? We don't know. That's why everything is open. She did the same thing, like, you know, like, sort of like yelling at me, like hitting me while I'm drunk. And I, I actually laid on her and, like, held her, like, detained her, kind of. And she ended up, like, leaving but that, that happened that night. How did you detain her? Detain her. Detain. That word, detain. Okay. Um, hold on. I'm reading your comments. Didn't Jack say he wanted to marry her with kids? Ruma. Okay. Three-month internship. Thank you, Jay Lord. That is a wonderful point. A three-month internship was not permanent. That's not a reason to break up with someone you're in love with. But I want to go up to Ruma. Jack, didn't Jack say he wanted to marry her with kids? Jack's auntie. Jack's auntie came out and talked to the media and said, half the world thinks that he did this. This is someone he would have married and had kids with eventually. What? How do you figure, Auntie Brooke, that they would have gotten married? Maybe he was cool with the split. Maybe. Just one theory, you guys. Not saying this is the end-all, be-all. But with what we have, we all want to talk about this case. We need to look at what we have. Jack is still going to be in school. She gone. She got a new she got a new ride. She's looking hot. She's independent. She's graduating from college and now she's going to get paid for what she's went to school for. And he's still in school back in Moscow. So I don't know. She looks like she's advancing faster than 
the boyfriend on her end goal. I mean, sir, like that night I was... Did you let go over yourself or did other people have to come and get you off of her? Uh, I'm not, you know, I don't, I really don't remember that night at all. Not at all? Okay. No, not at all. But maybe because you, you maybe you smothered her a little bit that night, maybe you choked her a little bit? No, I don't think I choked her. She never said I choked her. Oh, exactly. Good point. Good point. Lolo. Lolo says, saying this is someone he would have married has nothing to do with whether or not he could kill. Husbands kill every day. Every day. And maybe the parents are enamored with Jack. Maybe because Jack was in their lives for five years, he feels like a second son that they can't imagine would ever do this to their daughter. Jack was supposed to protect their daughter. Um, as a parent, if I was dealing with a brutal murder of my own child, I don't know if my mind could even go to the point of someone that supposed to love her and protect her could do this. I don't know how a parent not only grieving the loss of a child, but the brutal murder of a child would be able to succumb to those facts so quickly within six weeks. That would be super hard, I would think, unless you had hard core evidence. You're going to want to believe that they wouldn't do that. She said I, I laid on her and held her. Right. And like, and like, how, did, how did you lay down on her? She, she said I literally like laid on her. Was she face down and you laid on top I, of her? Or? I don't even know. We like, like we've hung out since that night, like a bunch of times, like actually probably a dozen times since that night. Right. And we haven't really talked about that, but since that night, like, she's never said that, like, I was choking her or anything. She said I literally, like, laid on her and, like, kind of, like, didn't well, let her she's, she's about, what, 105, 110 pounds soaking wet? Uh, you're almost double her size? Yeah, probably. You, you don't think that would maybe be enough to take the breath out of her if you're laying down on top of her? Uh, I mean, I never, th I never thought about it like that. So he's being challenged by the male, right? This is the alpha. But I never, like... <laughs> I never like right. Be, he's well, being the well, alpha. You never mentioned anything to her, you know, to her face, and you, you constantly bring it up that you didn't punch her in the face. No, I we, we never even asked you that question. I know. I mean, did, I'm did you maybe, did you maybe, at least smack her hand, no. snap out of it, or something like that? No. no What's wrong with you? I did not. No, Nothing I did like not, that. I never. No. I mean, I'm in here for a soul charge. Right. That's why. I, no, I, I, mean, I never told you you were. Yeah, we had said, any warrants on you. Right. I know, but so someone said we're here right now. for an, okay. an assault investigation. Right. And that's have, why have, I'm have you ever threatened any harm to her? No. No. Why'd you take her computer? I don't know. I have no idea. There's maybe maybe because there's evidence on the computer emails that you sent. No, there's no. I mean, you you can find you can read all the emails and right. everything back and forth. Okay. Like. There's, there's no threats. There's not going to be anything on that computer that we're going to bring no. up forensically. That's no. Like, no. That came from George saying, hey, you know what? No. I found out that you're cheating on me. No. No. Nothing like that? Nothing. Nothing. Why would you take that computer then? I, no. I mean, you can look at my computer. The same emails that are on my computer are on her computer. I mean, emails are on the internet. Like, it's not like her email account is raised because I took her computer. I have no idea why I took her computer. Probably because... She was like not talking to me and not like, you know, like she like did all this stuff and I just walked out of there with a the computer. Why, why would this move? So he makes this girl's nosebleed, leaves her on the bed. He throws her down, says, go to bed, takes her computer, throws it in a dumpster. <laughs> just for no reason, start attacking you out of the blue. You, you can ask my friends that with the night that that the other night? Yeah, the other night. Um, you you can I wish there I have four I have three eyewitnesses for that one. Right. Oh. She walked in and started punching me in the face. 
hit me with her purse, hit me with her cell phone. And literally when I stood up, ran, backed away, it was like, to the other, I was like, you have to stop, like, get away from me, get away from me. She came, kept coming back for more. Okay. Okay. No violence, right? Nothing. No, no, sir. I'm not, I'm not lying. Like, you can read all the emails. You can, do, you can look at everything. Why in the heck would you break down her door then? Lock door I means don't come in. to talk to her. And I sent her no, no, that's, that's more than that, man. That, that's rage, the way that door was kicked in. That was pure rage. There we go. You must, you must have been seriously mad. No. You, you've told us everything else. I've told you everything. Yeah, I've, told, I've, I've told you guys everything. I'm not hiding anything. Right. I've told you literally but why, everything. But why kick it in? That's just pure rage, man. I, I wanted it, to it, talk it, to her. I that, wanted it, to talk to her. I wanted to talk to her. Have you always been that way with her as far as if she didn't want to do something? It was kind of your way of the highway type of thing? No. No. No? No. And, you know, I, I understand that, you know, you had a lot of alcohol in you last night. Okay? I mean, yes. And, you know, do you think that could have maybe led into why you were, you know, fed your emotions to kick in that door? That, that may have, have, have made me rationalize kicking in the door to open it up, but it was all strictly to go in there and talk to her. I wanted to talk to her. I told her that I sent her emails. You can see all the emails, you can see everything. I said, we need to talk about this. Okay. Like we, I said like, like I think three emails, like, I want to come talk to you when people say, like, fuck yourself. You know? And I could not have thought of you when like, I was drinking. But, like, that, when I was like, that, that's made me emotional. So I wanted to go talk to her. That's why I kicked in the door. That's why I was, like, trying to talk. That's why I wanted to talk to her. Now, now, I know you mentioned you fell on her like a week ago, right? When you were laying down. No, that, that was that was a month ago. A month. A month. you detained her, right? Did you detain her last night at all? No, no. Did you fall down on top of her? You know, wrestling. We were ground? wrestling on the ground for like a little. Did you wrestle on the bed at all? No, I never like no, never like. I mean, I shook her. No, I mean like just kind of hold her down until she calmed down a little bit. No, if anything that would I mean, I mean, if, any, if anything that would have been like on the floor, but because like, I'm sure you didn't want to hurt her. That way, if you were restraining her on the bed, she wouldn't be able to hurt herself as much as a no. It was ever, I never was like laying on her like in the bed. Like I want when we were on the floor, when her nose started bleeding, we were like wrestling around, and that's when her nose started bleeding. Was it pretty noisy when you all were wrestling around? No, I mean, was she screaming. No, no, she, no, she was no. She was not screaming, actually. I mean, if I'm, Crack talking, if I'm cracking my head in the wall, I'm going to be saying, oh, yeah. 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 No, I mean, she was not screaming. Yeah. She should have been, probably. I mean, maybe. I don't know. What do you think she should have I don't been? know. I mean, well, she was screaming when I first, like, came into the room. She was like, no, like, I'm not talking to you. Like, get the fuck out of here. All that. Wow. And, like, that was it. I don't want to talk to you. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, if that doesn't speak volumes. When, um, at any point before you said you, you, and this was your words, you said you tossed her on the bed and then you left. Yeah. All right. At any point before that, did she lose consciousness? No. Okay. What happened after you tossed her on the bed? Did she move? She talk about to say something? I mean, I literally tossed her on the ground and turned around and... Tossed her on the ground or tossed her on the bed? On the bed. bed. I'm walking out the door. Okay. She didn't cut Did she have on... Did she still have her t-shirt on? At that point? Yeah. Did that get rid of her? Yeah, I mean, she never... She always had her t-shirt on the entire time. Okay. She never had her... She was never not unclothed. All right. So you didn't sexually assault her or anything? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm, I I'm sorry. I know, I, I know you have said that. Sorry. Okay. I apologize. All right. So but, when but, you tossed her in her bed, was she on her back or on her stomach? I mean, I think she was on her back. I'm not sure. I mean, okay. I was like, you know. We, we, I asked you earlier about the, the light. Is she Because if she's kind of in bed, then maybe the lights were off. Were the lights on? 
And did you turn them the on? The lights were... <clears throat> for you to be able to see... The lights were not on. No. How did you see the blood and stuff coming around? Because her, she's got a big bay window mm -hmm. right by her room, and there's lights from the parking lot okay. that it's I mean it's not it's not hard it's just easy to see okay so when you tossed her back on the bed in, in your mind she's she was um, bleeding but you said she was bleeding out her nose and, and you didn't you didn't feel like you needed to call rescue no after that after banging her head and no, she, I, shaking I, her and blood coming out her nose on the floor no I mean it was a, let, let me ask little, you this little, where did you um and you've been honest so far, so there's really no reason not to to lie about anything. But uh, when you left out there, were you kind of like, she got what she deserved? Is that why no, you didn't call 911? No, 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 no. It wasn't about that for me. Mm -hmm. It was about going to talk to her. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing about, yeah, like... But you missed anything that no one asking right now? There's nothing about, like, going, going to get anything or going, you know. I don't know. I took a computer, and that was irrational mm -hmm. but that was like my collateral almost if you could look at it like that I mean I guess that's where my logic was at but mm -hmm. that was, which is well I have to tell you something well I think I know why you took the computer why well, do you think you, you, all right? you know she's dead you killed her George Dead. I think you knew that already. No, I did not. She's dead. How the fuck is she dead? Because you killed her, George. How the fuck is she dead? Because you killed her. Oh my god. We're not here for any reason, George. She's dead? Yes. She's dead? Yes. She's dead. Oh my god. She's dead. How? How? I already told you how. You already told us how as well. How is she dead? You just told us. How is she dead? How is she dead? I didn't triangle. I didn't do. I, I didn't fucking hit her. How the fuck is she dead? She, oh. Horrible. This cop is like, dude, give it up. I don't even know. I don't. Hey, Ave. Hey, Audra D. She's dead. Yes. How the fuck is she dead? Oh my god. Carrie, this came up in my request, in my recommended too. I wonder if it's because of the Idaho Four. Because I never even heard of this before. We're serious, George. We're serious, George. And that's why we. That's why you took the computer, isn't it? No. Because you had threats to kill her on that from a past email. Because she hooked up with a player from UNC. Ooh. I never. I said that. I, I never. Like that was just like the 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 moment. It was the moment. Yeah. Last night. Last night was he the moment too, wasn't it? There we go. You went in there to talk with her, but it got out of control, right, George? The alcohol got a hold of you. You kicked in her door. She started to fight with you. You punched her in the head, or you cracked. She's not dead. You cracked she's her head. Dead. You she's cracked her head dead. in the window or in the in the she's wall. Not she is. She's not dead. I ain't BSing you right now. It's serious. I want to see. I want to see her. What? George, she's not dead. George. She is dead. You are not here to dance with us. You're you're here because she's dead. <coughs> the alcohol. I don't believe it. I don't believe it's it. It's true, I, dude. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't hurt her. George, listen to listen to me. I didn't hurt her. Listen to me. You probably didn't mean to hurt her. I didn't hurt her. You went in there, you kicked the door, she got a little feisty. You either punched her or you smacked her head a little into the concrete, and then you held her down on the pillow because that's what no, I did. No, I didn't on the pillow. I was never on the bed. Okay. Well, I never held her down. I never, I never <laughs> suffocated. I never did anything. I, I don't believe that she's dead. How did you? How did, I don't believe that she's dead. How I she, don't believe that did, she's did dead. Did you punch her? Did you hit her? How, her she's, there's no way she's dead. There's, she's not dead. I didn't. <coughs> I never <coughs> did anything right to like that she could be dead. Listen to me. She's not dead. Did there's, you punch her? Or did no, I never, I never know. Did you hold her head into the wall? Did you crack it? 
Did you, no. Did you, is her head crack? did you smack her head in the wall? No, she's not dead. She's not dead. You guys said she's a black eye and a, a bump on her head. She has those things. But uh, she's not. She, she, she's not dead. I didn't. I didn't. I did not. I did not. All right. Let's let's calm down. I did not like hurt her. Like she's she's not dead. Calm down, minute, George. Okay. Tell me she's not dead. Tell me okay. she's she, she's not dead. I, I want you to calm down right now. Okay. Right. I don't. I don't believe it. I, I don't know, believe I it. I don't okay. believe it. I never did anything that would that could do that to her. Well, let's just let's calm. I never did anything okay. that could. She's do that trying to be her. the I rational I female. Never did anything that could do that to her. I never. No. I, I don't. I, I. I. I refuse to believe that that she's dead because there's no way that anything that happened last night could kill her. Okay. Just, just out of protocol, what we gotta do is stand up for you. Okay, put your hands behind your back. Turn. Relax. Turn. Relax. You'll be all right. Oh. Tell me she's not dead. Tell me she's not dead, though, please. You tell me she's not Fuck dead. Fuck boy, Relax. you're please. getting handcuffed because you know she's I dead. I wish I could tell you that, George. Twenty-two year old. Twenty-two, and her life is done. Oh my God! Kill me. I she can't be dead. She's gonna be dead. She's not. I can't not do anything like that. Oh, I did not do anything that could could have killed her. You you are, you do realize you're under arrest. I realize okay. that. All right, we're gonna consult the Commonwealth Attorney on the proper charge, but it's gonna be related to her death. I right? make sure you understand. She's dead. Okay. She's not. Oh. Hell, there's no way. Oh my god, there's no way she could be dead. Oh my gosh, shut up, kid. There's no way. Oh my god. There's no way, there's no way, there's no way. There's no way. Yes, dude, you're guilty as hell. I don't, I mean, we just want to help, help us understand what happened last night, George. Start start over from the beginning, buddy. Well, I'm what, not what lying happened? to you. Everything I said to you was so true. I'm not lying to you about anything. And she she had a t-shirt on. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm most confident. I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Was her t-shirt not on when? When? Well, we're not gonna tell you. We're not. Okay. Okay. So this is important. That's something that only the murderer would know. <clears throat> so it takes me back to Steve, Steve, Kaylee's dad, him saying the wounds aren't matching up or the injuries, it's either the injuries or the wounds aren't matching up like they're saying. So in other words, we're only being told about stab wounds being a cause of death. There could be different injuries on one of the victims that gives you other signs to who did this. So let's say for shits and giggles that Kaylee was the target. And let's say for shits and giggles that Steve means possibly she had strangulation marks on her neck as well as the stab wounds. Something is different. Something is, in his words, not matching up, right? Help us understand what happened last night, George. Go through it again. I told you everything, I told you. I told you everything. I don't, I'm, 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 I don't even believe it yet. I do not believe it. I do not believe it. I don't believe it. Okay. Just a second. There's no way. There's no way, sir. sir there's no way. So this dude was back in court this year in April for a civil suit against him. Dead. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. It's true, George. How? How would it have? There's no. There's no way. 
There's no way she could be dead. Why do you think you're sitting here in handcuffs? For 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 a, a navy for for what you guys said were his sole charges. She's dead. I can't. I'm not. I'm not lying to you. You would have said murder charges if you were lying. To, if you were honest with me, you would have said murder she, charges. She was assaulted. You would have said murder charges. You would have said I would have murdered her. You would have said I, I murdered. Did she die this morning? Afterward? I can't tell you when. I know, but oh my God. So he was eventually convicted of second degree murder. I, just, I didn't murder. I didn't murder. Oh my God. He's stomping his feet, you guys. Like, what? Someone said he was going to bang on the table. He's stomping his feet. I would have murdered her. You would have said, I, I murdered her. Did she die this morning? Afterward? I can't tell you what. I know, but I, I, listen, I didn't murder her. I didn't murder her. I did this. I know she's not dead. 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 There's no way she's dead. Calm down, George. There's no way she's dead. There's no way. There's, there can't be any way she's dead. From, there can't God, be any way she's not. dead. Sir, I'm telling you, there's no way she's dead. You have to be lying to me. Tell me you're lying to me. Tell me you're lying to me. How is she dead? I'm not lying to you. How is she dead? How? If, what, what did she die from? Well, we're going to find that out. What did she die from? We're gonna, we're gonna find out. I can't make that determination. Sir, sir. E either the head trauma or asphyxiation. It, it, there was no asphyxiation. Okay. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. See, now he's worried for himself. And, and I know you've, you've told me the truth, but I, th I think you know, there may be some parts you're leaving out. All right. What happened here? I'm not sure. Sorry about that. I'm not. And then how, did her, then how did she get all that head trauma? From banging. I don't believe that. I don't believe she banged. From banging. He means she banged her own head to death. To the point where she'd kill herself by banging her head. Because it really didn't hurt. She wasn't really screaming. She was just doing it. Her own head in the wall, man. Well, the rest of the... She, I don't believe she's dead. I don't believe she's Did dead. You? I don't believe she's dead. I don't believe it. There's no way she's dead. There's no way she's dead. There's no way. Dude, she has to be alive. She has to be. She wasn't, there's no way. There's no way. The last time I saw her, she was not dead. She was not dead. There was never. What, was she, was, she doing, what she, was she doing the last time you saw her? She was like, she was like standing up with me. She was standing up with me. She was standing up with me, looking at me. Was she standing or hold, you were she holding her? She was standing up, looking at me. Okay. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. Cut your mic in the first three minutes of the show, please. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Sir, I don't believe it. Sir, sir, please tell me you're fine. I'm not lying. She's dead. Sir, how is she dead? How? That's what, how? I, that's what I want you. That's what I want you to clarify. How? Me. Ow. You know how. No, I didn't. No, no, no. No, I didn't know. I didn't know. I... Why didn't you know? Why? She's not dead. She's not dead. She's not dead. I know she's not dead. Oh, boy, you never shut up. I didn't. He's crying for himself. I 
I know we're going in the name of life. Jesus, God. Father God, Lord. <laughs> She's not dead. Not dead. I know she's not dead. I know a hundred million reasons she's not dead. I did. Oh my god. It is like NK. <laughs> they were so little. Again, you're not lying to me either, are you? You're not lying. She's dead. Oh my god. I know I know about it. No, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't. It did not. It didn't. It didn't. And what happened? I didn't kill her. I did not kill her. I did not kill her. I did not. I did not. Sure. I did not kill her. Did you maybe smack her head one time too hard? I never hit, no, I mean, and maybe, maybe on the ground, no. Did you smack her head, maybe lay her on the bed so she could kind of relax? No, 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 no. Did he no. S.A. Well, her? Because, you know, I don't think he would have done that. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Stomp his feet like a little baby in the white. I, I still do not believe it. He stomps his feet like he's wearing those white hard bottom baby shoes that we wore when we were we were babies. Little baby George. So I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You just came in and said you were a final soul charge. Which makes sense, but that doesn't even make sense. He knew the assault charge. That doesn't see? Even make sense. He knew the assault charge didn't make sense because he knew she was dead. He couldn't figure out why they were charging him with assault and they wanted to see how he would react because he knew she was dead. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You just came in and said you were a final assault charge. Which makes sense, but that doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. See? But he couldn't say that. She was assaulted and she died. So how could he sit in this interrogation and go, I, I assaulted her, but she's not dead? They'd be like, why would you think she's dead? They totally put him in a corner. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. And you were there. This happened when you were there. I need. Now's the time to man up, George. Tell me what happened. I told you what happened. I told you what happened. I told you what happened. What happened to get? I told you what happened. I told you what happened. How did it get out of control? It didn't. I told you what happened. It didn't get out of control. Okay, so he didn't SA her. So they're comparing his emotional reaction to be accused of SA versus killing. So I want to rewind and go back because when he says something like, did you lay her out or something, his reaction is different to denying that versus the murder. She was 105 pounds. He knew she was dead. You cannot be dead. You're not lying to me either, are you? You're not lying. She's dead. Oh my God. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It did not. It didn't. It didn't. And what happened? I didn't kill her. I did not kill her. I did not kill her. I did not. I did not. I did not kill her. Did you maybe smack her head one time too hard? I never hit, no. I mean, and then maybe on the ground, no. Did you smack her head, maybe lay her on the bed so she could kind of relax? No, 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 no. See, his response about the, the rape insinuation versus I didn't kill her? Listen again. These people are, God, are people stupid. <laughs> You cannot be dead. You're not lying to me either, are you? You're not lying. She's dead. Oh my God. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. 
It did not. It didn't. It didn't. I... Then what happened? I didn't kill her. I did not kill her. I did not kill her. I did not. I did not. I did not kill her. Did you maybe smack her head one time too hard? I never hit. No. I mean, and maybe, maybe on the ground. No. Did you smack her head maybe lay her on the bed so she could kind of relax? No, 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 no. Come on, you didn't punch her because, you know, I don't think you would have done that. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I still do not believe it. So, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You just came in and said you were a fine assault charge, which makes sense, but that doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. She was assaulted and she died. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. And you were there. This happened when you were there. I need, now's the time to man up, George. Tell me what happened. I told you what happened. I told you what happened. I told you what happened. What happened? I wanted to talk. I told you what happened. I told you what happened. How did it get out of control? It didn't. I told you what happened. It didn't get out of control. She's not dead. She's not dead. She's not dead. There's no way she's dead. There's no way. I can't do it. No way. No what the? <sighs> oh. I hate these pop-ups when you can't see the end of something. So, yeah, in short, this guy ended up with second degree. He was sentenced to 23 years in state prison in May of 2010. And strangely, the town he grew up in was called Chevy Chase. And it has nothing to do with the actor. He was um, 24 when he was convicted. And she was 22 when she was killed. And they also found him guilty of grand larceny. So the, the Charlottesville Circuit Court Judge Edward Hogshire... Heeded the sentencing recommendation of jurors. Virginia is on, is one of only a handful of states in which jurors recommend sentences in non-capital cases, and judges typically honor their wishes. Judges can reduce a sentence, but not add to it. They have gotten this case right, and we appreciate their hard work, said um, the Commonwealth attorney, Warner David Chapman. Before the sentence was read, George addressed... Yeardley's family by saying wait whoops sorry he addressed her family by saying Mrs. Love and Lexi I'm sorry for your loss I hope you find peace so they were seeking his attorneys were seeking a 14 year sentence and they said it was fair and they weren't happy with the judge's decision of 23 years So, I don't know. I mean, is this dude going to be rehabilitated when he gets out? I say no, because what's going to change him other than being in prison? I don't know. I'd like to see. No, John Q. Public, you're right. I don't, I don't feel like he does either. And we're going to talk about Jack tomorrow. I have a live for tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. And it's called You Don't Know Jack. We're going to talk about the Jacks. Um, he's getting out in 2030, according to um, news articles, is what we're seeing. Yes, he got 23 years. His lawyers wanted him to get 14. Hey, Potato. Yeah, I mean, what he admitted to is disgusting, so. 
But I think it's just food for thought, you know, with the case that's on our minds, obviously, day and night. You know, we're all looking for updates and waiting for the latest on the Idaho 4. So the, oh, I do have another video on this case. Hold on. So his civil trial, he was in court in April for that. And I have a video to show you guys that. So that was just this year. So you're going to see him. I don't know if they show him or not. We'll see. But you may see him in the flat. Oops. Well, hello there. Hello there, my lovelies. That's a little bit too much. J is for justice for a Thursday. Go back to that. Cash me outside. How about that? Okay. Let's see what happened at the Hewley civil trial. George. We have George. I wonder if he has a cousin named Peter. I think he was an only child. So I wonder if he has a cousin named Peter. Maybe. And after the murder of Cockeysville native and former University of Virginia lacrosse player Yardley Love. WJC investigator Mike Kelgren has the latest steps and what's been a long road to justice for the family. Yardley Love was just 22 years old when her on again, off again boyfriend George Hughley beat her, leaving her for dead in her apartment just off the She's University so of Virginia campus in Charlottesville. While Hughley is now serving 23 years in. When weather turns really? extreme, CBS? CBS News and the Weather Channel bring you virtual weather technology so advanced, so real, you'll have time to get prepared. Feel the forecast. Streaming on CBS News. CBS, you suck. Let's see. Um, what's his name? Or what's her name? Yardley Love Civil. Probably more on YouTube anyways, so. That's his mother. That's his mom. Okay, here's the jury awards, 15 million. New at 11, the former UVA lacrosse player who killed his girlfriend in 2012 must now pay $15 million in damages in a wrongful death lawsuit. George Hughley is currently serving a 23-year prison sentence for the murder of his on-again, off-again girlfriend, Yardley Love. He was convicted of second-degree murder in 2012. Love and Hughley were both seniors at the time of the murder. Hughley was, has stated he doesn't remember breaking into Love's room and beating her to death. Love's mother took him to civil court, originally seeking more than $30 million in damages for her daughter's death. The jury rewarded Love's mother and sister $7.5 million each in damages. Interesting. Hey, Shell. Better late than never. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> the Grinch. Look. At Richmond Airport. I wonder if he flew southwest. <laughs> what a great way to end this live, huh? <laughs> that's hilarious all right you guys i'm out on that note um i'll see you guys tomorrow at 3 p.m we're gonna be doing you don't know jack so if you don't know jack you're gonna want to be here because we don't know jack either all right see you guys dance it out thank you guys for being here i don't want to see you again for the rest of my whole life and i don't want to see anybody else either
perverter. Why, why is it an Ashley, issue? Nobody, Ashley, nobody said yikes, he hasn't come home, Ashley. And he does not know. Tamper that 